From millions of dollars of ancient Roman gold found in a field to a painting worth $15 million hidden behind a wall for 30 years. In this video, we take a look at 10 amazing treasures found by accident. Number 10. Yard Sale Millionaires In 2007, a family from New York made a truly life-changing discovery that most of us could only dream of. Whilst at a yard sale, they purchased an interesting white bowl for just $3. They didn't think much about this bowl and had just displayed it in their home for many years. That was until in 2013, when they became curious about its origins and had it assessed. The initial estimate valued the 5-inch white bowl at an amazing $200,000 to $300,000. But that's just the start of the story. It turned out the bowl is around 1,000 years old and is known as the Ding Bowl. And it is an example of Northern Song Dynasty pottery and was described as remarkable and exceptionally beautiful by official collectors. There is only one other Ding Bowl of the same size, form and condition and that has been in the collection of the British Museum in London for over 60 years. When this bowl went to auction, it sold for a truly staggering $2,000,000. $225,000. It reached that price after a prolonged battle between four collectors. Number 9. Superman comic hidden in war. In 2013, David Gonzalez found an old comic book among newspapers stashed in a wall he was renovating. When he took a closer look at the comic book, he realized just how old it was. It turned out to be an extremely rare edition of Action Comics in which Superman made his first ever appearance. This comic book had been sitting inside a wall for over 75 years and was later sold for over $175,000 to an anonymous buyer. Number 8. Roman Gold in a Field In 1992, Eric Laws, who was a retired gardener, made a life-changing discovery in a field in Suffolk, England. He was in the field looking for his friend's lost hammer with his amateur metal detector kit. Instead of finding the hammer, he unearthed the largest cache of Roman gold ever to be found in Britain. He reported his findings to the local authorities and they began properly excavating the entire field. They discovered more than 15,000 Roman coins, 200 gold objects and several silver spoons. A year later, in November of 1993, the British government rewarded him for finding the treasure with £1.7 million, which is around $2.2 million. Today, you can view many of the most valued and beautiful discoveries found in that field in the British Museum. Number 7. Buried Atari Games In 2014, an amazing discovery was made during the filming of a documentary called Atari Game Over. The documentary was about the North American video game crash of 1983, which was a large-scale recession in the video game industry. As part of the documentary, they unearthed a landfill site where old, unwanted video games had been buried. The excavators unearthed 1,300 copies of E.T. the video game that had been dumped after the crash. When this video game first released, it failed. Nobody liked it or played it. And over the years, the few copies of the game that still existed disappeared. So when 1,300 new copies were dug out the ground, video game fans were very excited. 700 of the games were sold to people all around the world. And reportedly, those 700 games sold for a staggering $108,000. Number 6. $4 Declaration of Independence A man purchased an old painting at a flea market in Pennsylvania in 1989. He reportedly didn't really like the painting that much. He only purchased it to use the frame for something else. However, when he removed the canvas from the frame, he saw a folded piece of old paper jammed in the side. He unfolded the piece of paper and was blown away at its content. He couldn't believe his eyes. It was an original copy of the Declaration of Independence, dated 17 
76. It was confirmed to be genuine, and then in 1991, it was sold at auction for $2,420,000. Number five, baseball card millions. In 2011, Carl Kistner found over 700 extremely rare baseball cards hidden away in his attic. They had originally belonged to his grandfather, who died in the 1940s. During a long overdue cleanup of his attic, he found an old box hidden behind a wooden dollhouse. When he looked into the box, he knew he had found something special. He took the historic collection of baseball cards to an expert. They described it as the biggest, most exciting find in the history of sports card collecting. In August of 2011, Carl and his family decided to sell the cards during a national sports collection convention. Experts there claim the cards were worth somewhere between two and three million dollars. Number four, Jackson Pollock painting for five dollars. One day, Terry Horton visited one of her local thrift shops in San Bernardino, California, as she was looking for a birthday present for one of her friends. In the thrift store, she noticed an abstract painting that she liked. Not knowing much about art, she offered $5 for the painting and took it home. The painting was very large and she struggled to find a good place for it in her house. So a few years later, she tried to sell it during a yard sale. An art teacher happened to be at that yard sale. The teacher recognized the style of painting and told Terry Horton that it might be a valuable Jackson Pollock painting. Terry asked an expert to check if the painting was real, and a forensic art specialist found Jackson Pollock's fingerprints on the canvas, proving it was genuine. An art collector offered Terry $2 million for the painting, but she refused to sell. Terry reportedly won't accept a penny less than $50 million for the painting, and she still owns it to this day. Number three, US gold coin stash in London. In 2007, a man named Terence Castle found something very strange buried in his garden in Hackney, London, whilst he was digging a hole for a frog pond. He uncovered a stash of double eagle US gold coins. Terence later discovered the harrowing story behind these coins. They originally belonged to a Jewish man named Max Solzbacher, who fled 1930s Germany to the safety of England. He apparently buried the jar of gold coins in his backyard for safekeeping. Sadly, Max was killed during the Blitz when a bomb fell on his house, and the gold coins buried in his backyard were forgotten about until Terence dug them up over 70 years later. The coins were reportedly worth around 80,000 pounds, which is around 100,000 US dollars. A coroner has ruled that the money raised from the sale of the coins will be split between Max Sulzbacher's relatives. Number two, false wall painting. A very valuable painting by artist Norman Rockwell was discovered behind a false wall during house renovations. The house was owned by American cartoonist Don Tract. Don Tract became close friends with artist Norman Rockwell, and in 1962, Tract bought the painting titled Breaking Home Ties for $900 from Norman Rockwell. It quickly became one of Tract's most prized possessions. Many years later, in 2002, he loaned the painting to an exhibition at the Norman Rockwell Museum. However, experts were puzzled, as it seemed that the painting was in fact a fake. In 2005, a year after Don Tract's death, his children were renovating their father's house when they made a surprising discovery. They found a false wall, and hidden behind the wall were a number of rare paintings. It's believed that Don Tract hid away his original paintings in the wall and then made fake copies of them. He did this so his estranged wife could never take his beloved paintings during their messy divorce. In 2007, the painting titled Breaking Home Ties, sold at auction for over $15 million, setting a record price at the time for Norman Rockwell paintings. If you found a painting worth $15 million, what would you spend the money on? Let me know in the comments below. Number one, buried gold coins. 
In 2014, a couple from Northern California found something truly spectacular in their back garden. Buried underground, they came across three metal cans that were filled to the brim of old US gold coins from 1890. When they realized the cans were full of gold, they ran back to the spot and found another five cans. In total, there were eight cans containing 1,427 coins. The coins would have been worth $27,980 in 1890. But today, the entire gold coin collection has an estimated value of over $10 million, with a few coins potentially being worth around $1 million each. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.